Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Christopher Cruz reporting. President Trump on Monday said the separation of children from their parents trying to enter the United States illegally is so sad, but he showed no signs of changing the policy. He told reporters at the White House on Monday, a country without borders is not a country at all. We want safety and security for our country, and it starts with the border. His comments have angered Republicans and Democrats alike. Associated Press correspondent Sagar Magani reports. The voices are as varied as former First Lady Laura Bush, who says the separation policy is cruel and immoral, and Democratic Senator Chris Murphy, who says the president's terrorizing little kids. It's absolutely barbaric. But the president is again falsely blaming Murphy and his colleagues. It's very strongly the Democrats' fault. For not changing immigration laws. In the meantime, the president says his administration's doing what's needed to protect the country. The United States will not be a migrant camp and it will not be a refugee holding facility, won't be. Sagar Magani at the White House. Almost 2,000 children have been sent to mass detention centers or foster care from mid-April to the end of May. The Pentagon has now confirmed to VOA that its troops have begun what it calls coordinated but independent patrols with Turkey near the volatile northern Syrian city of Manbij. A spokesman told VOA the U.S. is patrolling on one side and they are patrolling on the other. These patrols are not joint. The spokesman said the purpose of the patrols is to support long-term security in Manbij. This is VOA News. Officials in South Korea are reacting cautiously to the expected suspension of military exercises with American troops. An announcement could come this week that the joint exercises are being put on hold. Routine joint training would continue. At least three people are dead, more than 200 injured, after a strong earthquake struck western Japan Monday. It hit the country's second largest city, Osaka. This is Reuters correspondent Matthew Laratonda. The 6.1 magnitude tremor came during the Monday morning rush hour. Local media say two of the deaths, including a child, were caused by a wall collapse. A third person was killed by a bookcase. The quake brought much of Osaka to a standstill, forcing people off trains and shutting down factories. It's also cut off natural gas for over 100,000 homes. And it's estimated that it might not be restored for up to 12 days. Reuters correspondent Matthew Larotonda. In Gambia, two people have been killed and others including police officers, have been critically injured in clashes stemming from a long-standing dispute over sand mining in Faraba Banta village, about 50 kilometers from the capital, Banjul. A state of emergency has been declared in Papua New Guinea after rioting in the remote Pacific Islands' southern Highlands province. The demonstrators looted and set fire to several buildings after a court dismissed a legal challenge to the election of a governor in the area. The World Health Organization is adding gaming disorder to the section on mental and addictive disorders in its new international classification of diseases. Correspondent Lisa Schlein reports for VOA from Geneva. The International Classification of Diseases was last revised 28 years ago. Changes which have occurred since then are reflected in this edition. Gaming disorder has been added to the section on mental and addictive disorders because demand for services to tackle this condition has been growing. Gaming disorders usually are linked to a system of rewards or incentives, such as accumulating points in competition with others or winning money. These games are commonly played on electronic and video devices. Lisa Schlein for VOA News, Geneva. A new report finds civilians in the United States own more guns than those in any other country. Americans hold nearly 40 percent of the estimated 857 million guns in private hands worldwide. The report was released Monday by the Geneva-based Small Arms Survey. You can find more on these and other late-breaking and developing stories from around the world around the clock at voanews.com and on the VOA News mobile app. I'm Christopher Cruz, VOA News. That's the latest world news from VOA.